players are getting back and Koppel slowed it down a bit being chased by Osgood and McCurry got a touch and a terrible mess then by McCullough oh dear oh dear that was panic stations for a moment that was little Lou McCurry who got that touch McCullough wasn't too sure what was happening touched it up on the bar and it was a good job Webb was first to it for Derby there's the corner and McQueen gets there the dangers of this big Scottish international he came in a little bit late surprised Derby they didn't pick him up on that corner and that looping header was only just over the bar with McElroy now McQueen for Houston Jordan and Langan covering McElroy's throw for Jordan Steve Powell has a look forward there's nobody forward for Garvey now Bailey is breaking from inside his own half chased by Houston checks against him a little touch in gets there beautiful Barry Powell has scored his first goal since he came here from Coventry and he's put Derby in the lead 1-0. 33 minutes of the first half gone. All started by the new signing, Alan Bailey. A lovely curving cross from his left foot. United didn't get it away and Barry Powell arrives on the far post with a punishing header. 1-0 then. Well, certainly Barry Powell will feel chuffed about that. And here's Barry Powell again. Davis off to Buckley. for United that long punt out from Bailey picks up Jordan to the line and the header inside and out and Thomas will finish it up no he won't McElroy again but the goal's been given the goal has been given from Sammy McElroy's header well they're congratulating Mickey Thomas but it seemed to me that the linesman signal down this side said that the ball in from Joe Jordan here now we can see more clearly perhaps there's the header from McElroy is it over the line no it isn't here comes oh it was that time from Mickey Thomas from well inside as McKellar kicked it out so the goal goes down to Mickey Thomas 1-1 38 minutes so five minutes after Derby took the lead and just a United strike back and make it 1-1 Derby got a strike again now. And they'd love to do it just before half time. Osgood. Nickel down for Koppel. Koppel taking on Buckley. Made it difficult for himself now. This ball back to Nickel. And McCurry drives it across the face of the goals. to Bailey and Webb beautiful ball Langham Empson's come down this right side Buchan comes to him Empson again the curving ball Koppel helps it on that'll go for a throw in to Derby County Buckley and can try it again this time for Daly. Langan. Davis and Langan trying the one-two. Well, there are 
appealing for a penalty. A challenge by McQueen, but uh, referee Derek Lloyd won't have anything of it. And I tend to agree with him. Nice little bit of one-two work between Langan and Davis. Jerry Davila for Dave Webb. Miley against McQueen. Here comes Davis. Daly. Barley and Daly again. Here comes Barley to shoot. And a great save. A beauty from Gary Bailey. Alan Barley very nearly opening his account for his new club. Bringing a superb save from Gary Bailey. Lovely build up with Daly and Bailey. Daly, Bailey, and then Bailey. There's Bailey's shot. There's Bailey's save. So, referee Derek Lloyd has a look at his watch. Points to the dressing room tunnel. And an entertaining first half of football here. Ends at the baseball ground. Barry Powell, having scored his first goal ever for Derby County, rubbed out by number 11 there, Mickey Thomas, who sends the teams in level at half-time. Derby County won. Manchester United won. So, Derby County kick off attacking the goal to our left. And that's Jovanovic being fouled. And the referee had given advantage and then decides no advantage had been taken by United, so the free kick given. Rain still drifting down. as Jimmy Nichol prepares to take this free kick. Goalkeeper's ball. Osgood. Riley giving it a chase with McQueen. <laughs> he certainly gave McQueen some, some hammer then. Here's Langan. Knocked out by Buchan. Steve Powell trying to deliver it back to Langan and does. But Houston can get the uh, clearance. Only as far as Powell. Steve Powell. Makari back to Houston. Osgood. Daly giving it. Uh, Little stick over there, and all this time Alan Biley is lying down injured just outside the box. Gordon McQueen attracting the referee's attention to him. But uh, referee Lloyd letting play go on, and as the ball hits the halfway line, he says, OK, let's have some treatment for the lad. The worried faces of Colin Addison there, and his partner in management, John Newman, Aidan McCaffrey waiting to come on, the substitute. Colin Addison waiting to see Alan Biley come off on a stretcher. There's Gordon McQueen attacking. Now Jovan Jovanovic. And they're staying away from him, he lets the left foot go. Skidded only about a foot wide of the left-hand post. Mickey Jovanovic. Well, that would have been something if he'd got his name on the score sheet in his first game in British football. Just wide. Nickel again. Jordan and Epson is there. Skates away from Nickel. Jerry Daly looks and finds Langan again attacking. Davis! Oh, a superb save! Oh, that really was a bit special by Gary Bailey. Wonderful header. And look at the grin on his face. He enjoyed that. This was a beautiful ball laid off from Daly. Langan crosses it perfectly. And now watch number 10. Davis come in. Lovely touch. Hits the post and Bailey's got it. 
ground. We've got a couple of minutes left, plus quite a lot of stoppage time, I would think, for the injury to Alan Bailey. Makari will lose that. Well, it's been a fighting, battling performance by Derby County. And it doesn't look as though it's going to get them very much more than just the one point. And they've still got to protect that for a few minutes yet. Davis, robbed by Grimes. Nickel, couple, Grimes. And there goes McElroy, and this is dangerous. Jordan coming in on the far post. And that will be a goal for McElroy. It's 2-1 Manchester United. That one break by McElroy has settled this match. Those are the travelling United supporters. There's about 8,000 of them here this afternoon. And they're well pleased. Grimes it was. Shifts this ball forward. McElroy going into the right side, which was always dangerous then. The ball across the face of the goals. Langan hooks it away, but that is a gift for Sammy McElroy. And it's 2-1. Well, 44 minutes on our watches. And uh, once again, a sadness for Derby County. Jordan down. As McElroy helps that back. Caffrey didn't get it clear. Jordan stabs it back to Grimes. McQueen. Long pass back, which Buchanan will, or Buchan rather, will complete. We've had three minutes of stoppage time. It was a long hold up for Bailey. Mickey Thomas hoops that in the air. Koppel is after it. Koppel past Langan. Looking for the cross. Oh, own goal! Oh, that is a total tragedy. Well, that is unbelievable tragedy. Barry Powell, who until today hadn't scored a goal for Derby County, has now scored two. One for Derby County and ping that one for Manchester United. That's 3-1. That is the end of the ballgame. Totally and completely. Derby County. Just time for the kickoff. And the final whistle goes. The 8,000 travelling Manchester United supporters, well pleased. The team came back from being a goal down to Barry Powell. Equalised through Mickey Thomas, fought a grim battle in the second half. Went ahead through McElroy and now wrap it up. 3-1 with a desperately unlucky own goal from Barry Powell. Sadness ahead, obviously, for Derby County. Well, what a whirlwind finish there. Indeed, those two points now put Manchester United level at the top with Liverpool. Though Liverpool have a game in hand and a superior goal difference as well. And there was a moment of controversy over Manchester United's first goal. Did it actually cross the line? Joe Jordan playing the ball in here. And it's uh, little Steve Koppel there with a good, powerful header. Unlucky to see that bounce back off the post. But here's Mickey Thomas coming in. And I think you'll see that the ball was, in fact, completely over the line by the time the Derby County goalkeeper scooped it back into play. But what exactly happened when Alan Bailey was injured and had to be carried off? A collision with Gordon McQueen, said Bailey afterwards. Well, we'll see them arrowed there, the two gentlemen, McQueen and Bailey. McQueen on the left and Bailey. The cameras, quite properly, though, were following the play. And now don't pick up the incident as uh, Manchester United go forward into the attack. When the ball comes back again... You'll see that uh, Mr. Bailey is on the floor there after that collision with Gordon McQueen. But coming up next, an important game in the second division as Luke.